hi guys in this video we are going to learn on how to use a continuous integration and a continuous uh, deformment which is a aws uh, platform and we are going to use the aws services that are here on my uh, structure in uh, this uh, screen as you can see i have the structure that uh, we are going to use in the user parts this way we are having our code locally then we push our code to uh, code commit which is a aws uh, control version and then from there we are going to use a code pipeline for uh, for deploying our code on the aws sd buckets uh, leveraging on the cicd so this is the structure that uh, we are going to follow i have the projects as you can see these are a web-based uh, application and this is uh, the project that you're going to push on the on the aws sd buckets and uh, we'll be able to access it um, online so this is the website that you're going to deploy it on the aws sd buckets okay let's go and uh, Create our repo. I'm assuming that uh, you have already created accounts in the AWS console. Let's search for code commit. I will create uh, our repo there. I have some repo that I uh, have already created. So I just go ahead and uh, create a new one. We will call it um, the websites. And then uh, is a CS, CSCD. Since uh, it is a HTML project, we are not going to enable this. This is for Java and Python. I'll just create my repo. There we are. We have already created uh, our repo. And uh, our repo is empty. So for us to be able to push our account to this um, uh, repo we have to clone it uh, clone the https just come here and open uh, our terminal so git Clone. Let's paste the URL that I have uh, I copied. Uh, then uh, we'll go to our root of projects and downloads. it is here I want us to copy the code and then we put it uh, in that one I copy this one then I want to paste it here okay good now we have that project within the code commit repo 
So let's add all the pages that we have done. Let's commit code commit. You call it web science. Then our changes have been committed, all of them. So we push now to our repo. So git push. It's now pushing. It's done. So if we refresh this and this one. Let's come there. We check our repo. You'll find that uh, we have our project there. They should have pushed there. Okay, let's see. Uh, we are not in the project, that's why it haven't pushed. So let's see. go to the project. Yes, there we can now uh, add our changes. Okay, just adding on to the git. Then um, we commit our changes. Uh, after that, uh, we push a project on the um, on a repo. Okay, if now you check and uh, it does just uh, refresh. Let's go to the website people. Now, as you can see, now we have uh, our code here on the repo, and uh, we have managed now to push our code. The other thing that uh, we are going to do is uh, ensuring this code is uh, deployed on the AWS SD, where we will be able now to browse it online. So let's go ahead and click uh, buckets on the AWS SD, search SD. This way we are going to deploy our code. I want to create a, a new bucket. I call it a website. And this is the name of the bucket, would be unique. Hope uh, there's not any other 
buckets called the web signs. I'll, I'll not uh, do my changes, but on the public um, access, I'll not uh, make it uh, blocked. I'll uncheck this one to make sure it is public uh, accessed. Uh, then from there, I will acknowledge that I want my project to be public. Then uh, the changes uh, they'll remain as defaults. So let's go ahead and create these buckets. Yes, our bucket name is already taken, so we can say paste app. So that one is unique. Okay, let's go and click the bucket. Yes, we now have our buckets that have been created. Is a new bucket that we have created. And um, before before I connect uh, our buckets with the code commits, I'll give it permission whereby it will be available online. You see now here, access object can be public. It's not a uh, Yet in public, so it has to make it public. So we go to public uh, bucket policy, uh, edits, here we are going to copy the code and the policy which will be making our public to be our packet to be public and this is the code that we are going to use we copy the amazon the resource name Come and paste it here. I will make this a uh, bucket policy available on the description um, section. So let's go ahead and create that policy. Just complaining why. Let's go ahead and build it again. Should pick this. We copy this one. Yes, we have uh, given permission for it to be public, and here you see it indicating that it's public now. It is uh, accessible online. The next step we are going to create a Git uh, pipeline called pipeline, not a uh, Git pipeline. It is called pipeline. Called pipeline. Yeah, this one for implementing a CSED from repo to AWS S3. Let's go ahead and create a new pipeline. We just give it a name, we call it websites. And then uh, the name will be that one. Let's go to the next. 
we send the source which obvious is the um, uh, git commits from our repo then we select the actual repo I will call it a uh, website from master branch then you go to the next the view provider is the AWS SD it is optional we can proceed the and select the Bye. Why is it not moving? Good option. Okay, let's skip the build stage. Now, deploy provider is a SD. Just like the buckets. These are buckets. Let us select the file. Let's go to the next page. And then this is the changes that we have done. We can go and uh, you can go ahead and create uh, our pipeline. So you find that uh, in a few it will be a pushing code to our AWS uh, S3. Yeah, you see now this this pushing. So if you go to the backends that we created there, you find that uh, we have a project there. So S3. Let's open the project here. You see now the code is here. If I click the index page, I want us to access these uh, projects online. Uh, these are the details for index file and this is the URL. So let's access these uh, projects online. I want to paste the 
a URL there. And now, as you can see, our website is uh, downloading, just like uh, the one that's uh, in the local machine. You can see here the URL is in the local machine. And here, we don't have it uh, online. And this is the URL, the new URL, which you can use uh, to share. And uh, then from there, I will come up with a video on how to customize uh, this um, ELL and to use um, customize the domain name. Uh, I'm sure you have learned something, and uh, I request you to go ahead and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel.